and now one call just moments ago for the attorney general to resign. That call comes from Democratic Senator Richard Blumenthal from the Judiciary Committee. He also wants the committee chair, Lindsey Graham, to immediately open an investigation into the Justice Department's decision. Senator Blumenthal, thank you for being back on the show. Thank you. Good to be with you. You Holly. told our team just moments ago you think Attorney General Bill Barr should step down. Why? This brazen assault on the independence and integrity of the Department of Justice is unprecedented. You know, I serve as United States Attorney, the Chief Federal Prosecutor for Connecticut for four and a half years. I still have on my wall the signed seal from the Department of Justice as a reminder of the importance of the independence and integrity of that department, our law enforcement agencies, our judicial branch of government. And uh, I think that uh, Attorney General Barr has no choice but to follow these dedicated prosecutors out the door because he's acting simply as a henchman, a political operative of the president who's always wanted the Attorney General of the United States to be his Roy Cohn, his personal attorney. And by the way, I think the judge here is going to be very, very angry about this political interference and compromise of the integrity of the Department of Justice. I think it could well backfire on Roger Stone. The chances, as Senator, as you well know, that, that Attorney General Bill Barr steps down because you're calling on him to step down are pretty slim, right? But you do have potential oversight of, of what his actions he's doing. You want Lindsey Graham, as we noted, to open an investigation. Have you heard back from Senator Graham or for any, from any of the Republicans on the Judiciary Committee about that request? I have not yet heard back. I just came from a hearing of the Judiciary Committee. Uh, Chairman Graham was not there. I'm going to be speaking to him during the votes today. But we also have the option of the Office of Inspector General, who is an independent watchdog. And I am calling on the Office of Inspector General, Michael Horowitz, to conduct an immediate intensive investigation because this kind of political interference is exactly the abuse of power, the dictatorial interference that we all ought to resist on both sides of the aisle. Because today it is this case, but tomorrow it could be another. There ought to be bipartisan interest in investigating. And Attorney General Barr has to come before our committee as part of the normal oversight. And I'm asking Lindsey Graham simply to accelerate that oversight so we can hold William Barr accountable. To be clear, even some legal observers who aren't who sort of don't have a dog in this fight will say, listen, seven to nine years seemed on the harsher end of the sentencing guidelines for Roger Stone. Did they, did they not have a point? Do you, do you see that perspective and where they're coming from? I see the point. I see the potential mitigating circumstances. Those kinds of factors are for the judge to consider. The prosecution makes a recommendation on the basis of facts that it has proven in court. Remember, Roger Stone went to trial. He, he resisted, he refused any kind of plea deal. He said to the jury he was innocent and they found him guilty. This kind of interference is an insult, not only the judge, but to the jurors who reached that verdict. And so the mitigating circumstances can always be considered by the judge, his age, the nature of the offense, whether it's too harsh to sentence him to seven to nine years. But frankly, I think that kind of sentence is well within the guidelines and judicial oversight. Very quickly, before I let you go, as far as options go, you have said that post-impeachment Democrats are what you describe as re-strategizing and need to reconsider what you can do through the power of the purse. Are you suggesting that moving forward, Democrats withhold appropriations? We're in an entirely new, uncharted area with this kind of dictatorial action, resisting any kind of oversight and stonewalling Congress in the way this president has done. So we need to strategize all the kinds so, of tools we have. So that's on the table then. The president accountable. Withholding appropriations then, based on that answer, seems to be on the table in your view. Withholding appropriations may include, in effect, leveraging that kind of power as a tool simply to insist on the rule of law, basic norms that ought to be given as a fundamental base for any president.
thank you for checking out our YouTube channel. Why don't you subscribe? It's really easy. Just click on that button down there. And for more news from MSNBC, click on any of these videos here for the latest interviews and highlights. You can get more videos from MSNBC with our newsletters. Head over to msnbc.com newsletters to sign up.